Good morning, everyone. If you have a need for some punches and you don't have the money for the punches and you want all sizes, this is what you can do. I have a new digital up in the store. You can stick some different pages in your printer where the paper goes and you can print out this digital and cut out your circles and there's three sizes um, and here's another page I did it was a map page and we're gonna make really pretty circles. And then I did a dictionary page. Now on this one, I'm gonna show you what you can do. What we're gonna do is we're going to glue this page down to just print your paper. Best we can. Put the circles on top. Let's see, make sure we get it straight. I'm going to take my brayer. that down good. you've got sorry got all this stuff in the way now that you've got all your sides all glued down good then you're gonna take the little pictures that you may have out of books and we're going to add them to your circle by tearing around a little picture and then you have a great collage that is vintage. Okay, so that's going to go like that. And we're going to glue it right on. Yep. <laughs> Not my glue. And we're just going to set it wherever it fits. And add a little bit more glue on top to seal it in. And then I'm not going to be cute. Okay. Then I have this little chick here from the same picture. I was just going to do this without the circles on there and then put the circles on. I thought, that's not going to work. <laughs> You're going to have like a hand here and a foot there. And so I think this will work. And now I got a cute little chickadee. Cute. That's cute. I mean, we could put a hand if we wanted one. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. Okay. And then, let's see what else I have. I have a little head over here of a little boy. So we can use that. 
I should have used that one. Ah, they're both so cute. Okay. Ooh, I'm going to use this one first. Go ahead and get the rest of him. I'll just glue him together. Alright, let's see if we can get him back together. Oh yeah, there he goes. I cut part of his hat off. Oh no. Nobody will know. Let me just glue him on. Get more of the outside off. And glue this one on. Use his ear and get surgery. Oh, there's the rest of his hat. I didn't see it. I guess I covered it up last time somehow. Okay. Here we go. We need to move it up a little. Let's see if we can do that. Make the whole thing. See if we can get it in the circle. That's pretty much in. I'll just cut off the excess as we go around the circle. Oh, these are going to be so cute. Okay. Now, we got this one. Did end up cutting his head off a little bit. But, with the background, you probably won't really notice it. Alright, if it really bothered you, you could draw it in with your pen, which I might end up doing. And then, ooh, we got a little dog. Let's try the dog. Oops, dropped him. One moment, please. Got a little doggy. Maybe we'll get him. If not, we got a little boy next to him. We can get him instead. Let's see. Alright, little dog. Little dog and a blink, I think. I'm going to put it in the smaller circles. Doo -dee -doo. Okay. What do we want to do here? It might work. The boy in the big old hat. Most of his hat will get in there. I'm trying to get a lot of the white off so you can see the dictionary in the background. Him at that angle. Open up my next glue. This one has gone. All right. What's next? Really wanted to use this guy in something today. 
So he may show up again in another craft project. He's so cute. Okay, now this little girl is darling too. She's a darling. Cute little doll baby. I like how it tore. It's kind of got little munchies on it. <laughs> Look like somebody ate her. Gotta fix that. Although she's cute enough to eat her right up. I don't think I want that look. <laughs> if you know what I mean. Okay, she's ready to go in. Let's see, where do I want her? one's good. Uh, get her centered or not centered however I want her. Okay, there she is. Now I have this little bitty guy. Oh, he's cute. Is he going to fit with his tutty? Maybe. Let's see if I can salvage some of the teddy and the little baby boy. whole head under the black. That would be good. Now that Teddy's arm's going to be cut off and that part's going to be cut off. Let's see if I can get it done now so that I can keep the black part. kind of like that black part around the edge. There we go. Try this one too. Before it dries. Get off my finger! Okay. And there's a little part here. Um, almost gotcha. Just a little bit more. Right, like that. And then, there's this guy. He may be already dry. Yep, he's pretty much dry. Well, you get the idea. You just keep going until you get what you like. And then some of the other ones you could do some stamping. Maybe a word, maybe a flower. Let's do a flower. That's nice. Um do I have a mushroom? Want to see a mushroom? It's pretty small. 
don't think it's small enough for the tiny ones. Let's see. Much room, right? To the side on the. Yeah, I like it. I'm going to do the, another mushroom. On that side. Maybe one day I'll have a mushroom book and all these mushrooms will come in handy. Okay. What else can I use? Got some leaves. Dark green. No light green. Let me check for dark green. Dark green. Or it could be orange, couldn't it? Let's see if that fits in the little ones or not. Yeah. Make a few green ones. And I'm going to switch to orange. If I combine orange. Aha! Orange! it again. Oh yeah. Aren't those great? I think they're beautiful. Okay, what else? What do I have? I have this little, get off your paper sticking to it, okay, I have this little, um, shell, showing these other little ones, ah, your shell isn't turning up pretty good, very good with the brown. See if we can change colors of shell. Maybe we'll put some pink. Pink shell. There are pinkish shells out there in the world. Kind of white and pink. At least I've seen some. Yeah, that turned out good. Kind of with that vintage look since I already had the distress. That one wasn't as vintage looking. Okay, I like that. So we have what? One here to do. Two, three, four, six, seven left. Okay. What do we have? I have this fish, but it's too big. How about some bunnies? Bunnies coming right up. What color of bunny do we need? I've got this gold. Let's see what gold does. Mm, I think we might need some black or a whole different color. Maybe purple. I've got this purple. Oh, looks kind of neat. And doesn't really fit the other size. Needs one bigger than that. Okay. I'm going to put my purple away. 
and find us something to go in these spots. We have to drag out some more stuff. Let's see. Oh, I got this might work. Let's see. Eh, eh. Close, but no cigar. Let's do some flowers and we'll do two different colors and see what that does or maybe three different colors what do you think how about three I like threes triplets here we go Oops, I got too much, but oh well. We'll go with it. Oh, still worked. Pink and blue. Now those I'm not sure if I like. <laughs> if I maybe change this uh, direction every time. I'll leave it all the same color. I think I got them all. Okay, so our lid's on. going to go over each one that I haven't gone over with my glue stick. Make them smoother and softer to touch. And when you cut them out, they'll feel nice in your hand. That wasn't so easy. Huh? Okay, get them all. Well, those are ready to be cut out and used. And one thing we can do, let me dry those real quick. Maybe, I say real quick. Let me get it plugged in. Then we'll be able to dry them real quick. Just need to cut them out. Show you what else we can do. Let's go with two hat guys for right now for the demonstration. Just follow your line. One gets interrupted, just imagine it there and go through scissors to the next part of the line. Something you could do once you get it all collaged is sit down and watch something. A video of a friend, a crafter. 
for a movie. Watch your kids playing. Okay, so I gotta get the other hat. Or some of you have grandkids. You could get them to cut for you if your hands are sore. Grandkids love artwork. Usually crafting, stuff like that. Especially if you want to use them for your journals or in your store or whatever. Just don't use my digital in your listing. You can use things that you make with my digital. That's fine. Okay, so just put some more glue on the back side. Let me get my little book out that I use for messes. number. <laughs> Trying to stick to my book. Okay, now you see there's a little white area where <laughs> I don't make perfect circles. So what you do, you either take a marker, you have a black marker, or you can use black ink pad of your choice. And get that inked. You could even use a black pen, which I might get mine out. Or you could just cut it to match and then ink it. Okay. Just about done. There's my little black pen I have. Make it real distinct. Especially where the hat came out too far. So I didn't get that one fixed. you do is you can make it into a charm. Okay, now you have your circle cut out, you have it glued, you have it put together. And if you go to glue it, <laughs> make sure whatever you have on the top is the same direction on the back. <laughs> Mine's different direction. I always forget that part. But maybe you won't. Okay. Then you either take you a whole bunch like this, or a all like that, or even if you got an ice pick, or a nail, or something, and make your little hole. This time I'm going to use a whole bunch. Find the direction I want. I like to see what I'm doing. So I'll put the whatever the hole is on the top. Let's see. I think I'm going to put it over here by his hat because then this guy will be straight, I believe. Close enough. And ta-da! Now we have a cute little um, oops. Is that down? No, it's not. Always make sure your edges are down. Okay. Double check your work. Kind of like math. Oh, no. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, I'm going to make that hole a little bit outlined. You can find it easily. That looks better. Okay, there we are. Now you can take some pens or I have another thing. These barrel swivels for fishing. I like them. Pinchers, whatever kind of pinchers you got. You can get really cheap ones from the Dollar Tree. Needle nose pliers. Let me grab this part right here. Let's forget how to do it. I have to learn again. Like, oh yeah, that's what we did. Okay. Then you attach it on your beautiful creation like so not want to make your hole farther down than I did it'll still be good okay then you want to reattach it in the same way Unless you just have really strong fingers. Or your husband's around and he has strong fingers. He wants to help. Then get you a bullpen. Put on the other end. Then you can attach it wherever you want to your book. Real easy like. I'm not good at um, like jewelry making. My hands don't work that way. But bulb pens and these little guys, I can do. Then it can hang dangly from a book. I'll show you another one I did that you can use one of the circles for. Is this one? And I put the bulb pen down here. And now you used a really tiny hole. Now this was made with um, the ring that goes around your milk carton. See? And so if you have these little circles, they fit right in. Right inside. Actually, you'd have to trim them just a little. But you don't even have to use them at all. Actually, you could you could take some glue, put it on there, and put it right on the outside. This has this metal here, so that's preventing me. But anyway, and do it like so. Then the other side shows through. And you can cover up your plastic like I did with a bunch of paper glued on. Anyway, that's that. There's so many uses for these little circles. You can make some clusters, put circle cluster, I mean, put circles on your clusters, and so on and so forth. I think it turned out really pretty. Um, hope you enjoyed this craft. So, if you did, give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. And hit the bell so you can see when the next crafty thing comes along. Which is probably soon. <laughs> see you later. Bye bye.